Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bucket server for Minecraft. Now, a bucket server is just a modded server where you can add mods to customize your server way more effectively. So, um, now one thing I'm going to point out is, and this tutorial is for almost every single update that Minecraft will ever release. Um, I'm going to show you how to check if it is available for your update or not, but uh, anyways. Let's get on my let's get right on into this. So first things first, we want to type in bucket, Google it, right there, and um, it's B U K K I T. You want to click on the first link that comes up, bucket.org, and right here on the side, as you can see, I'm signed in, but this will pretty much look the same. Right here on the side, um, you'll see that there is an update for beta 1.7. It's build 9.53, which will come um, in useful later. You might want to remember that. Um, now, and also right here it says MC 1.7.2, which means that's the update. Currently, I am on 1.7.2. So, um, yeah, that's good. So, we're going to want to click on that, bring us over here, and click on this link right here, and it'll begin to download. Now, I might have multiple of these. Nope, I don't. Sweet. Alright, so once it's finished downloading, you're going to want to make another, you're going to want to make a folder. As you can see right here, mine is. Uh, bucket server tutorial and uh, yeah so it's kind of a big download but it's not too big it's like what eight megabytes I'm guessing drop that into there as you can see I have had multiple so I'm gonna take out this little section oh okay right there and there you go that's uh, that's the first part next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna wanna go back to the bucket I'm gonna close this down and uh, click on get craft bucket and then go down and get this little bit of information right here and copy it I'm just gonna control C file new text document um, you can name this whatever you want I'm just gonna be run or you can name it starter or whatever open it up and paste that in now if you're on a uh, if you're on a th what 62 bit system I'm on a 32 so I don't have to do anything but if you're on a 62 it mentions right here if you're getting um, right here at 64 bit machine um, you'll need to change this little bit which is located right here in the bit of text to this let me just demonstrate so x80 what is it 86 and uh, then that'll fix your problem but um, I don't have to do that of course because I'm on that um, then you want to do file save as and we are gonna do it a all files and then file name run dot bat and it will save us a bat here we can go ahead and delete our text because it doesn't matter anymore now I'm in my last tutorial well on my tutorial on my other channel I didn't go over that step so Windows 7 users were kinda freaking out but hopefully I kinda fixed the whole problem there then you're gonna wanna run your uh, run.bat or whatever you named it and it will start to create the files as you can see it says fail to load ops and whatever that just means it's going to start creating the files and it'll keep on going it's creating regions and it'll tell you the seed as well which is kinda handy alright now this is a kinda long step because it has to generate the nether and also the normal world which is always a good time alright do 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 and uh, my hope is to also have um, more tutorials on how to install Essential Chat and also uh, permissions. As right now, permissions is not updated. So, um, yeah, all right. So now that this is done, you just want to type in stop and click enter, which is a command to stop your server safely. So it'll save everything. And then we'll press any key to continue. Now, these are all your folders. You have your run right here. Now, it'll be mixed up if you go into a folder and come back, as you can see. You'll have your plugins, which w will be where you place all your mods, your world, your world underscore nether, ops, uh, I mean band IPs, band players, your bucket YML, and then your snapshot jar, which you will still require to have in here, but it still does absolutely nothing. Um, ops.txt, of course, this is different for everyone. Um, if you're on a uh, Windows 7, it'll just say text document here, and you won't have the .txt. Um, and then server.properties, whitelist, server log, and then your run. So those are all your files. Um, now in your world, of course, it's just the normal world. And if you want to 
bring a world from your single player what you need to do is you're going to go start run or if you're on a um, on a Windows 7 computer you go search run and then it will bring you to the run I'm going to type in percent sign which is shift 5 app data percent sign click OK this is how you find your dot minecraft and then you go into your dot minecraft you go into your saves and the, this is where all your saves will be um, now I recommend just copying and pasting into here um, that way you still have your world in here but it's up to you um, and also if you do drag your world in so if I wanted beta 1.7 which was my uh, video I'll put that in there and then I need to go into my server dot properties let me actually open this with a better text editing alright and then right here in world you want to change to beta 1.7 which I believe is the name of my yep is the name of my thing so I'm gonna save that close it and there you go now it'll load up beta 1.7 um, also another thing that is located in the server dot properties um, allow nether so you can disable the nether if you don't want people to be be able to go in there so you know if you know it makes your server lag um, then you can turn that off view distance um, I'm not too sure what this means but I'm pretty sure it disables a certain amount of land being generated in front of a player um, I don't quote me on that but that's what I think spawn monsters of course you can turn it to uh, I'm just gonna turn it to false but you, you can have it on true online mode this means it has to recognize an official account on um, Mojang so if you were to have a pirated account and you were to put this to false people could log on to your server with the pirated account so I normally have that on true just to because um, oftentimes on pirated accounts they could have any name they want so they can show up as um, you or anyone else and then be an imposter so we'll keep that on true spawn animals I'll have on true um, max players so this will be um, if you don't want over I'll put five because my computer really can't run more than that um, then it'll put have an error message saying the server is full if they try to sign on server IP we're gonna leave that blank PVP which is player versus players and people can hurt each other um, we'll put that on false world level seed so if you wanted to put in 404 um, and then delete whatever world so if I was using beta 1.7 and uh, you might have to delete world as well it might just try to find whatever world it'll create um, this level seed when you start it up again just like in your uh, minecraft just like in minecraft um, server port we're gonna leave this blank I mean not blank but we're gonna leave it as it is 25565 allow flight which means if people have fly mods like zombie fly mod uh, fly what well, mod pack I should say um, they will not allow to use it it'll kick him off the server um, of course they can always come back on um, and then whitelist which I'll go over in a second I'll leave it as false alright so we'll save our changes close it now let's go on to the whitelist since I just mentioned it now the whitelist basically anyone who has their name on the server so mine is Tanner Pro um, anyone who has their name in this text will be allowed on the server if you have whitelist on now you need to separate it by commas so and then I'll put Bob um, comma just like that and then there'll be Bob and Tanner Pro which is my username will be allowed on the server so we'll close that no because I really don't care about that um, server log server log is just gonna tell you let's open this up so it's kinda easier to read um, what's going on so if someone slash give uh, 46 which is TNT you'll be able to find it in here after reading through it for a little while as you can see it says creating spawn area 69% uh, which we saw in the command prompt when we were first making the server you can find it so if you have a griefing problem with TNT you can go ahead and find that player and uh, ban them which I'll show you how to ban them in a minute so let's go on to banning players now there's two different kinds of ban there's a ban player so if you wanted to ban a just a account or if you want to ban their IP so um, I recommend using the in-game command for this but it's up to you um, so if you want to ban the player you just put their name so mine would be Tanner Pro now I'm banned if I were to save that of course you separate by commas um, so Tanner Pro comma Bob and there you go Tanner Pro and Bob would be banned 
Now, the downside of this is if the user has another account or has uses his friend's account, he can still get back on your server. So you can ban their IP. Now, I believe you just put in their name for this, or um, you go in in game command and it's ban a slash ban IP and then the user's name, and it'll ban whatever they their IP is on. So I recommend doing both banned IP and players, so the user can't go on another. Um, another IP and play with their username. Now the bucket YML, um, this is pretty much nothing. This is a spawn radius so you can edit it. So um, spawn radius is basically you can't break any blocks inside the spawn radius so 16 blocks um, around it and also they'll, I believe they'll be able to spawn anywhere inside that 16 blocks. Um, and then all of this everything else you really don't care you don't need to care about um, ops this means they'll have any command unless you know if you have permissions um, it really doesn't matter if they're an op or not well it does but it doesn't so my name and then Bob oh no space my apologies um, and then me and Bob would both be ops ops just means you have every single command ever so you can slash give slash time day all of that good stuff so I will keep myself actually as an op so I can kind of demonstrate some stuff. So we'll save that. And I believe I went over everything. If you have any more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Now we're going to load up our, well, first we're going to have to run our server. Keep in mind you'll have to run your server every single time, every single time you want to play. Okay, so apparently it is now creating the World 404. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Well, well it's doing it. Um, let's go back on to Bucket, and I'll show you how to install some plugins. So let's go here. Now, like I said, you're going to need to remember your build. So mine is, what, 953? Yes, score! All right, so then you want to click Get Plugins. Find, you can either search through this massive list of plugins, or if you know the name, so Essential, oh, um, Essentials right here. Click on this. Do, do, do. I will click download. It will begin to download the essential zip. We'll click. St we'll type stop in here, so it'll stop the server real quick. Now the server will have to be stopped when installing plugins. Open up the zip. I just want the um, the uh, jar, the main jar. All the other stuff is just bonus. We'll run the server again. It will create some necessary files, which will be located in the plugins folder. As you can see, this is all the config stuff. But I'm not going to go over that. That's be a later tutorial. Now we'll go open up Minecraft. Open you up. Log in. Full screen this, even though it's going to look really bad. And I'm going to have to hurry the balls up. Type in localhost, no spaces. This is without port forwarding. And if there's an annotation on the screen right now, um, you will uh, click on that. If if you want other people to be able to sign into your server. Um, and not only just you and so as you can see this is my tutorial world that I use to show you guys everything in beta 1.7 um, so that's the complete tutorial on how to make a bucket server if you did enjoy please leave a like and if you do want to check out the port forwarding um, video go ahead and click the watermark at the bottom right screen um, the one with the panda on it smoking a piece of uh, what what is it smoking a piece of bamboo um, click on that, and uh, you know it'll take you over to the port forwarding, which is how people can get onto your server and not just you. Um, so that's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and of course, subscribe, like, comment if you have any questions, or send me a message if you feel like it's personal, and I'll try to respond in the best way I can. And uh, of course, if search through the comments, don't ask me popular questions. Search through the comments first and uh, try to find an answer through that way. That's all, folks, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Peace.